what is domain flipping full domain flipping tutorial hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with domain flipping what the entire business is and how you can get started within this particular niche so let's get into it now what exactly is domain flipping now a lot of people confuse this with just you know buying up a bunch of domains and waiting for them to rise up in value and to sell although that can be justified as the main crux it has become a whole lot more valuable to start flipping domains there are multiple different facets that you can use to gauge an idea of what type of domain you should buy you have multiple different tools that can enable you to better understand what type of domains you should purchase and so much more so i'll be discussing all of that and how you can get started without having to purchase anything additional other than your domain and how you can find the most profitable domains so let's get into it. Now, there are three particular websites I'm going to be using right now. First off, you have this website called expireddomains.net. So expireddomains.net actually shows you domains that are currently expired. So you have the end date of particular domains. Some of them have already been expired. Some of them were expired yesterday. Some of them have been purchased. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the expireddomains.net section and you're gonna take a look at some of these stats over here. So you have the basic info of a particular domain, coolmoviezone.net. You guys can see this domain is gonna expire today. And this actually was registered 54 times. You have the RTD as well. And you will be able to see a lot of info about these domains. A lot of times they might just be super, you know, simple domains that might not be useful for you. However, you wanna keep your eye out for .com domains that are useful or meaningful. So we're going to keep on continuing over here. We're going to just look around for some of the domains. So now we're just going to continue on over here, taking a look at what kind of domains are available. Now, a lot of these domains are just going to be nonsense domains, but you can still find pretty good domains a lot over here as well. You have Coronavirus Pro. Now, this is not a great domain to purchase, you know, domains that are, you know, just like super weird, like XNLH58.com. Now, no one's really going to be looking forward to purchase that. However, we have NinthStage.com. Now, this could be something that could be potentially valuable. So you want to make sure that you browse through all of these domain lists and are able to find a good domain now even if you can't find it on expireddomains.net you can always go on to namecheap or godaddy now if i take a look at even my own account on godaddy i have purchased a domain over here if we go into my products over here i'll show you guys this is the domain that i have purchased and i paid a very minimum amount for this and i can click on manage and currently the estimated value of this domain is around 130 dollars or 140 dollars so if i click on my particular domain i can go into my domain settings over here and you guys can see if I go into the selling section, I can list it for sale. It's around 146 USD. So this is just an estimated value. I paid around five to ten dollars for this domain so you guys can see it can be a really profitable niche if you know what you're doing in this particular niche now how can you find these suitable domains on namecheap or godaddy well one strategy that i recommend is you go on to google trends so google trends is going to allow you to see what is currently trending what is you know one of the most popular things out there right now so you can go into the trending now section and you're going to go into the daily trend searches and you can search for a particular country as well so i want to see the daily trend searches in the united states now some of these are going to be super basic but some can be really specific as well you can also take a look at the real-time search trends and you will be able to see all of these search trends now if you go into the right side, you have multiple different categorical sections as well. So let's say you're looking for something that is in the entertainment section. So you guys will be able to see the entertainment section. Then you can go into the health section. So 
In this way, you're going to be able to find different types of things that are currently trending. And whatever is the new and trending thing, if it has already not been brought, you know, bought by a bunch of people, as you guys know, if I give you guys an example, Chris Jenner buys up all of the domains for her grandchildren. So in this way, you kind of want to look into the future, take a look at what could potentially be trending, take a look at what could be, you know, more popular what could actually be a new item a new trend let's say you have the clean girl aesthetic so cleangirlaesthetic.com things like that you want to look onto the oncoming trends you can do this on tiktok you can do this on instagram you can always do this on google trends as well you can go into a specific topic let's say i want to go into the beauty topic and what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for this term and you guys will see if i scroll down it will show me the related queries as well as related topics so these particular brands are trending these items are trending so building something around that could also be super helpful so once you have chosen a particular type of domain you're looking for you can go into godaddy over here or namecheap both of these are great platforms to get started with for domain flipping and you're just gonna search for let's say i search for beauty over here now, if I scroll down over here, you guys can see there are a bunch of different domains at a bunch of different prices as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I am just going to search for like the best domain possible. Let's say I'm looking for lip oils because th that's like the trending new product in the beauty industry. So you guys can see lipoils.co, lipoils.store is currently available. That could be a great name. Uh, that could potentially be worth a lot in the future. And in this way you can find a particular domain that works for you now okay you've bought the domain how do you sell it well selling the domain can be done directly on your initial platform you always have selling options on namecheap and always compare the particular domains that you're purchasing so i would search for the same thing on godaddy namecheap and a few other domain name providers as well just to make it easier for me to get a price comparison so lipoils.bot lipoils.com you guys can see that org is available for a similar price but lipoils.bot is super expensive so i have a better idea of what is going to be cheaper for me what is gonna actually be more useful in the long run now, how can you sell these? First off, you can sell them on the marketplace that you bought them on. So whatever is the initial marketplace you got them on, you can always sell them on that particular marketplace. However, you can also go on to Flippa, which I recommend. So Flippa is one of the largest marketplaces out there. You guys can see you have the it is one of the number one places to buy and sell domain names. And you can also get your valuations for your domain. So if I click on get a free evaluation, you can go on ahead and you know enter the information about your business to get a free valuation and better understand your business now what you're going to do is go into domains in flippa and you're going to go into let's say you have a com domain and you can search for the different domains that are for sale some of these can be super expensive some of these can be a relatively okay price but i recommend selling on flippa more so than buying simply because a lot of these are super expensive domains so it can be too pricey for most people to purchase these kinds of domains however i would say that if you're looking to sell you're probably going to get the best price for this particular platform whenever you're going to sell and if you do it directly on godaddy or namecheap you might not be getting the best price possible so let's say i go into godaddy you can also go into godaddy and go into domain names and you will have multiple different options so you can also check out the auctions for domains and check out some of the bids that are happening on a particular domain you might be able to find some of the best selling domains although it might be a more expensive domain your eventual payout could also be even higher so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe